Welcome to our next study in American government. In this unit, we're going to be looking at political opinions and political socialization. Ask most kids between the ages of 5 and 12 years old what they think about the current president. Most will have an opinion and will not hesitate to share it with you. However, do you really think that they've thought long and deep about the ideology of the current president or his position on certain policy issues? It's doubtful. Yet, you hear young people today proclaiming that the president is a patriot or the president is a socialist or others. He supports the poor or no, he protects the rich. Where do you suppose they got these ideas about political opinions on various issues? Well, it's, it's pretty obvious from their parents. Most kids simply mimic or parrot their parenting. And that's what political socialization is all about. In this unit, we're going to look at primary sources of political socialization, those being the family, our schools, and various religious institutions. And then we're going to take a look at the various secondary means of political socialization. We'll also take a look at our frame of references and how we develop a frame of reference when it comes to political opinions. Uh, some of those uh, influences on our frame of reference would be our party affiliation, our political ideology as, as gathered from those who are closest to us, as well as various groups that we may associate with. And then finally, we're going to conclude this unit of study by looking at the measuring of political or public opinion. That has to do with the whole idea of polling. Polling is a very scientific means of determining what the public at large is thinking. Uh, polls can be very beneficial. As a matter of fact, very few politicians on a state or national level will make a move without trying to determine what the attitude of the general public is on the issue under consideration. So we're going to look at that, and we're all going to conclude that section by looking at problems that exist with polling today. So with that uh, brief introduction, let's dive into political opinions and political socialization.